Oh, hello. Um. <laughs> well, hello everyone. My name is Artix, and I want to welcome you back to another episode of Arc Survival Evolved here on the Pooptopia server, where we're continuing our adventure here on the center map. Now, for today's episode, there's going to be a couple of things that we're going to get done. We're going to have to build some scuba, we're going to build a bridge, and what is that? Seriously? I'm trying to record here. Go away. Um, so we're going to have to build some scuba, we're going to have to build our bridge, but I got to thinking, we're not going to be able to build a bridge without thatch, which means that we're going to have to go over and uh, get us a new deer since our last one got killed. And this time, we're looking for a 150. We'll accept nothing less. I have all the kibble made up. It's back at the base. And uh, before we get too far ahead, there was a uh, level 10 Alpha Rex that came and attacked the base, and Talaylock and Popeye wrecked that thing. So we're now going to wear our uh, whoops, or our trike helmet, because, uh, yeah, we took out an Alpha Rex. <laughs> he was only level 10, but he, uh, he still put up a good fight, but he didn't stand a chance against the two, uh, super amazing Spinos. Now, where I'm standing is going to be the start of the bridge, and it's going to have to come up about five or six blocks, because Courtney Chan uses his boats primarily on this map. Now, we'll just kind of take a quick little look-see over. He said we're going to start right there where the Quetzal Shadow is at. And we're just going to come straight across. And it's not too terribly deep. Um, we're not going to be doing the typical ceiling and pillars. Um, I found a, another way on YouTube for bridge making. And we're going to try it out. And I'm going to go ahead and keep you guys with me for uh, a pretty good section of it. That way you guys can see it. And uh, you can see me either succeed or fail miserably. But we're going to drop in right about here. Somewhere on this beach line. And the reason being is no rush is building this base over here. Well, will be soon. And uh, there's ponds over here. There's four or five maybe six of them and uh, they're just loaded down with beaver dams I'm gonna go ahead and start heading towards the redwoods they're loaded down with beaver dams and uh, uh oh what level are you? 10 that's like the worst level ever um, but there's all those beaver dams so it would make it easier if I could load up one of my land dinos uh, something that moves a little bit quicker uh, with all the rare mushrooms, the wood, flowers, cementing paste, pearls. Um, because as you see in my hotbar there on number eight, rare mushrooms is what I use for food. It takes three of them and I'm, I'm, I'm completely full. You don't get any healing from it, but I don't know. It's just easier. That they weigh less. They don't spoil. Uh, and beaver dams are a great way to get it. Now, if you don't have access to the beaver dams, you can always go to the swamp with your hatchet, and uh, uh, they look like cypress trees, but the roots are kind of out of the water. They're elevated a little bit. Um, you can hit those, and you can get a good amount of uh, uh, rare mushrooms if you want to go that route. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and hunt down a uh, 150 uh, elk. Uh, drag it back to base, drop it in our brand new taming pen, and then we'll start the taming process. So give me a couple of minutes to hunt one down, and I'll bring you all right back. Okay, everyone, I wanted to bring you back just real quick. Now, oh, hello. Um, <laughs> we've been talking about getting terror birds for cave runs, and there's a 150. So we're going to make this a terror bird slash elk taming video. No, where are you going? No, come here. Did we get it? No, we got the compy. Nobody wants the compy. Where'd the terror bird go? Ah, oh, crap. Are you... You're not the 150, are you? 
No, you're the 120. You're the 150. So let's go ahead and get this guy snatched up. We'll get him back to base. Do a quick tame on him. Hey, that's enough of that. We'll do a quick tame on him. I uh, believe I've got the kibble for terror birds. Um, if not, I'm sure I have the eggs to make some up. I've got all the ingredients. But, uh, yeah, guys, as soon as we get back to base, I'll double check the kibble. We'll get him tamed up and we'll have him standing by to pump levels on for our cave runs. And then I'm going to fly back across and uh, we'll find us a 150 deer. And then we'll start bridge building. So give me just a couple of minutes to get back here and I'll bring you right back. All right, everybody. And we're back. And uh, our guy, he's a little peeved off because he aggroed on me. So this is going to be kind of a challenge because he won't sit still. Oh, wait, no. Come on. Oh, dang it. Do you know how expensive these darts are? Hmm. Maybe I should have made this a little bit smaller. Yeah, I probably should have made it a lot smaller. <laughs> All right. Um, hmm. Oh, no. Well, he was stuck there for a minute. Come on, bird. Come on, bird. Hmm. All right, guys, give me just a minute to figure this out, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, everyone, we got him down, and the the taming pen didn't. I don't know. <laughs> he was in here. He was glitched. All he was doing is running in circles. So I opened the door, and I was able to actually stand here, and I stood in front of him and blocked him from running for a second. Nothing, and then he managed to run out, and he ran in here on his own. So I came over here into the corner and punched him in the butt, and then I got battle music, so I was like, well, we'll, we'll just shoot him. So I'm going to get this info put into the taming calculator. Uh, let's see. Terror bird. Timers. Max food is 3,600. Done. So we got him. We have to get him to 3120. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and sit here and babysit this guy. And uh, we're going to run over here and make a saddle up real quick. Well, I say real quick. I'm not sure what it needs. And then we'll start pumping uh, damage and health on this guy. So saddles. Oh, it's right there. Hide fiber and wood. I've got that. So we'll just go ahead and make one of these up real quick. Uh, my Quetzal's over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how well this guy's going to work for clearing caves. Um, this was a suggestion by uh, one, of my, one of my subscribers, Dragon Revolt. This is so we're not being cheaty and going through the caves. Uh, no Rush is planning on getting a Terror Bird as well. And we're going to make some cave runs and... Yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So we'll get this guy whipped up real quick. All right, cool. Well, we got everything we need. I'm going to sit here and babysit this guy. And we need galley kibble. Perfect. So I'm going to sit here and babysit him. And I'll bring you guys back when he's awake. And uh, yeah, then we'll go find us a deer and do the same thing. All right, everybody, and we're back, and it's time for this old boy to wake up. Uh, he was supposed to get down to 3120. We got him to 3110, so let's slap those on there. Plus 74 levels. Outstanding. We got a terror bird. No, I don't want to be the dossier. Oh, uh, what shall we call him? I know. War chicken. All right, and we're going to put your saddle on. Give me that galley kibble. You don't need any more of that. Um, all right, cool. Well, let's... Uh, 
Oh, we're too heavy. I'm carrying way too much stuff. All right. Uh, we'll just come stick a bunch of this stuff on the war turtles. Which, by the way, the war turtles are coming along amazingly. Um, this one here is up to okay, uh, ten thousand health. Uh, tanks a ton is up to eleven nine. War Turtle is up to 15.7, and uh, No Name is up to 86. You're, you're probably going to stay back and hang out with the gear, man. Hey, come here, War Chicken. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, we're going to have fun with this guy in the caves. What's our attack speed like? Yeah, it's, it's not... Uh-oh. For some reason, if I click my mouse too fast, it uh, cancels out of the game, which is kind of weird. But, uh, yeah. I think we're going to have fun with War Chicken. This looks like a good spot right here next to NRG's No Name Bear. Which, by the way, he is in the middle of doing a drawing for Ark Survival Evolved. Or for uh, uh, Scorched Earth. So, if you guys are interested in that, go over and check his channel out, and uh, you'll follow the instructions. I do believe you just have to be subscribed, like, and comment on the channel. And uh, you also have a chance to name a name his bear there, so uh, go check his channel out. It'll be down in the description of this video. Uh, great guy. I love building with him, and uh, yeah, guys, go check it out. Alright, so now back to the Redwoods for a deer. Alright, everyone. I've been searching for the last two hours trying to find a deer and so far this is the best that I can do a 135 male so unfortunately it's not 150 but we're gonna have to go ahead and settle for this now I'll be keeping my eyes out as I'm heading back um, I'm going to go ahead and fly back through the redwoods again. And uh, maybe we'll get lucky and find a 150. But if not, I reckon a uh, 135 will just have to be good enough for now. So, unfortunately, this probably isn't going to be a double perfect tame like I was wanting. But uh, we'll see what happens. So give me a minute. I'm going to fly back through the redwoods. And... Uh, in the next episode or so, we're probably going to go check out the uh, new end of the world, um, which is what we were just looking at down there. What level are you? 50? Yeah, about 100 levels off there, buddy. What about you? Uh, I don't know. I'm sure there's a better way to aim these things. 35? Come on. All right. Uh, give me a few minutes to, uh, well, wait, I was just talking about the end of the world here. Uh, they recently added all this with the center mega update. You can even go all the way down there to the bottom of the waterfalls. Now, we're not going to get into it today because there's a lot of stuff to look at from what I hear. Uh, but if you want to look at it now, uh, go over to uh, No Rush's channel. Uh, the link again will be down in the description and he just recently did a video where he explored that area and checked some things out and uh, yeah guys it's uh, pretty awesome from what I've seen so if you want a sneak peek now go check it out or if you want to wait I'll get it out here pretty directly but uh, yeah give me a couple of minutes I'm gonna fly back through the redwoods see if I can't find a higher level deer and if not we'll just have to uh, settle for this guy here and then it's time to start all the super amazing grinding, which is what 90% of this game is. Don't go behind that rock. 15. All right. I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, everyone. We've done it. It took, uh, I don't know, about another 45 minutes of searching and carrying around a 145, but we found a 150 deer. So let's snatch this big boy up, and we're going to head back to base and make him our friend. 
Alright everyone, also, I've seen so many 150s today, I was tempted to turn this into an hour long taming video because I found two level 150 doties, uh, one or two 150 uh, Parasir Ethereum, a 150 Diplo, uh, a couple of 150 Pteranodons, so if you want 150s, yeah, this is the place to go. Uh, just watch out for all the terror birds and carnos and bugs. The bugs have been my biggest problem. But anyways, I'm going to get back to base. We'll get this guy tamed up. And uh, I'll bring you back here in just a minute. Alright everybody, and he is down. So, I'm going to go ahead and punch this info into the calculator just real quick. And we'll see where he needs to be in order to starve out. Alright everybody, we are back. And our friend here is ready to wake up. We had to get him to 2120. He's close enough. So we'll take that, give him that, and give him that. Eat. And give me those 74 levels. Aw oh, yeah. And he's up. Now, I have an interesting name for him. We're gonna call him Gas Mask. Why? I have no idea. It just sounds cool. How you doing, buddy? Alright, so now that we have... Oh, you know what? Give me that kibble back. You don't need it. Um, now that we have another deer that we can use, we're going to uh, go ahead and start the epic grind. Ooh, hello. Uh, start the epic grind for our bridge, but eh, hey, 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 you sit still. I don't think we're going to get around to building the bridge today because I'm going to have to do a lot of grinding, uh, get a lot of stone, get a lot of thatch, get a lot of wood, because it, well, it's going to be made out of stone. And I'm actually considering making it out of metal because I've heard that dinos cause walking damage. I don't know if that's true or not. So I'm going to have to do some research before I uh, get too carried away. Alright, Galaxy. Let's get you put up. But yeah, guys. Uh, I think that's going to be it for this episode. And I'll get started on all the farming. And the next episode should be the bridge. But if you enjoyed watching this episode, please smash that thumbs up button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we're trying to put out all this content just for you guys. And oh, Parasaur get oh right in the butt oh yeah I'd scream like that too if somebody punched me in the butt <laughs> but yeah guys uh, oh, seriously battle music Rex Jr. wait a minute how did you where did why why did oh arc okay anyways uh, back to the closing statement here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And if you did, please smash that thumbs up button. And as always, please subscribe. Uh, we work very hard on these videos. And uh, we do it just for you guys. And I want to say thank you for all the support. It's, uh, it's truly amazing. And I appreciate each and every view, each and every like, and each and every comment. Alright guys, I'll see you next time. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.